patience and your generosity and all that crap? Where's the fun in that? Max, please. Ruth's voice had become a whisper. Hilda was contemplating the scene, fascinated, convinced that she should do something. But Max's eyes were on fire. The gray in them was nearly black. His cheeks were flushed, his nose broad, his teeth shiny. He looked devilish. It was a frightening but not completely unattractive sight. You don't like me either, you were telling Hilda. So don't pretend. Someone played a nasty trick on us and put us together. We hate each other's guts. We can't live together. And we won't. I'll make sure of that. Ruth fainted and Hilda took her hand and patted her face. With no result. You don't know how I... Max continued. Stop, Max. You've made your sister faint. Help me take her to her room. Max took Ruth's feet whilst Hilda held her head. They put her on her bed. Hilda sat next to her. You don't need to stay with her. She'll be all right. I need to talk to you, Max said. I'm not sure I want to talk to you when you're like this. Like what? Max looked at Hilda and after a few seconds, a big smile formed in his face. Bad? You don't want to talk to me when I'm bad? I am bad, Hilda. It's a fact. You know it, and I know it. We don't need to pretend. I don't care for my family. I hate my sister. I lie. I steal. I take drugs. I drink sometimes. I like sex. I don't care for education. I enjoy hurting people, and I don't feel shame. I don't repent. It's me. I can't help it. I was born this way, and I don't want to help it, but I care for you. I love you as far as I can feel love for anybody. I'm not going to cry or anything. I'm not telling you this to make you feel sorry. It's me. I'm honest with you. I would never knowingly hurt you, but I am bad. So if you don't want to talk to me when I'm bad, then you'll never talk to me. Max left the room and entered his. Hilda heard him play Mozart's Requiem. She followed him. Do you really mean all that? She asked from the door. He took her arm and made her go in, locking the door behind them and switching the light off. Then he sat on the bed and left a space for Hilda to sit next to him. I feel something inside of me, this urge to do something. I know I will end up doing something really terrible, but I don't feel sad or sorry about it. It's like a nagging sensation inside of me that eats me all the time. I can't stop it. It only eases off a little when I do something bad or nasty, and then only for a little while. I never feel completely well and relaxed, never at peace. I know there's something I have to do and then I'll feel okay, but I'm not sure what it is yet. I have a feeling though, a suspicion. What suspicion? No, I can't tell you, I can't. I don't want you to hate me. Do you hate yourself? No. No, I don't. I accept myself as I am. I'd hate myself if I tried to be good and I failed. I think that embracing something completely and successfully is the best way. Max's voice filled with darkness in his room. His tone was cold, determined, and hard like steel. It was one of the most fearful situations Hilda had gone through. There has to be something that can make you feel at ease. Something that relaxes you. Drugs and alcohol hardly help. Masturbation doesn't either, and proper sex. Although Hilda couldn't see him, she felt his eyes on her. But he carried on with a sigh. And his voice became somewhat tremulous. Sex hasn't made a big difference either. Only doing bad things helps. And only a little, for a short time. Maybe if you tried to do good things... It makes it a thousand times worse. Like a burning sensation inside, like knives piercing my guts. It's horrible. No, it's impossible. His voice was anguished and had a painful tone. His breathing was fast. Hilda noticed that he had curled in the corner of the bed. She put a hand in what she guessed was his shoulder. He took it and kissed it. It isn't easy to be this bad, you know. It's a fucking lonely business. If you only opened up a little bit and let people come in and gave them... People are scared of me. They don't like me, and I don't blame them. They have good reasons. I don't hate you. I know. But you're a bit weird. 